flight day two, we have the catapult. Now the catapult is a simple activity where you just have a few basic materials and you're trying to launch a ping pong ball over a certain distance. Now of course the furthest distance is the goal, trying to get your ping pong ball to go as far as it can. Now you could turn this competition to another target competition like slingshot, but for the most part we're just going for distance. The most powerful catapult would win this competition. And then second place, third place, fourth place, whatever. But here's our materials. You have your masking tape, you have the rubber bands, the jumbo craft sticks, the cups, and a spoon. Now, basically, you can give them limited materials. You can say, okay, you get four rubber bands, you get four sticks, you get four Dixie cups, a certain amount of tape, foot of tape, and a spoon. But some of these things you probably should give more of. Like you should give a lot of the Jumbo Craft Sticks. That way they can come up with things. And they don't have to use all the materials if they don't want to. They can choose to only use the Craft Sticks or, you know, some only use the spoon. And they put it in there and they see if the spoon would be the farthest slinging object, right? And the rules are you have to be able to, you can hold it down in place, but it's got to stay in one spot. So you put a spot on a table, you can section out with tape, and then you put the catapult there and they can test it from that area. So as long as everyone's starting from the same point, they're allowed to hold it in place. So that would mean if you only wanted to use a spoon, hold it in place here and then pull it back and fling it, then that's fine. What's important about this is they actually have to test their design. So if they're only using a spoon, they have to test their spoon. If they're designing something, they have to test their design. They're going to have about 18-ish minutes to do the whole build process, test process, and all that at the end of your 18 minutes. And let's just say 18. Call it solid. And then you have the actual competition. Team 1 goes. Keep them in teams of 3 or less. Don't go any more than 4 or any more than 3. You get to 4, then someone's not doing something. Um, and also they can draw it out. They can design what they're thinking as a team so they can get all the materials that they need and put it together. So. That's catapult. It works the same way as slingshot when we're talking about parabolic, that it goes into that, goes up because of the force that's put upon it and it gets pulled down by gravity and then drag of air is pushing against it, which slows it down and brings it back to earth. Trying to get enough force to push it the furthest distance is our goal. Also observing why it didn't go so far, why some catapults work better than others, what was the uh, successful or most successful catapult and why. Uh, also, where were the challenges? Why did some of them fail? So, that is Catapult.